Hello students, let us see this question here. If energy E, velocity V and the time T are taken as fundamental units, then dimensional formula for the surface tension is. This I need to find. So let us take, uh, so the surface tension of X can be expressed as, so these are the fundamental quantity units are given. So from here, so, so let us assume the dimension of S is equal to E raised to power X something, right, V raised to power Y, all right, and T raised to power Z. Alright, so all I need to find here x, y and z. So as you all know, the surface tension, it is nothing but force per unit length. So I can say from here the dimension of surface tension, that is force upon L. So force is equal to m L t raised to power minus 2. Okay. And L is equal to L. So this will get cancelled out and then here we are getting m t raised to power minus 2. Alright. Now the dimension of energy, as you all know, m l square t raised to power minus 2 all right the dimension of velocity also i know that is uh, velocity is meter per second so l t raised to power minus 1 the dimension of time that is all right that will be t only all right now let us see here so put this value so dimension of s that is m t raised to power minus 2 so that is m t raised to power minus 2 that will be equal to energy energy is having m L square T raised to power minus 2 and that is raised to power X here into V L T raised to power minus 1 raised to power Y and T T raised to power Z. Alright. So M T raised to power minus 2 that is equal to so let us combine all uh, so, so, so let us combine all the M together so that will become M raised to power X. If I combine the L together here so that you will get L here you are getting 2x, 2x, okay, here you are getting y, so 2x plus y, alright, here nothing, so now time for t now, so from here you are getting minus 2x, here you are getting minus y, and here you are getting z, so that is you are getting. Now let us compare, so by comparing, so I need some space here, so let us remove this. So on comparing the LHS and RHS, I can easily say x is equal to 1, alright, 2x plus y, uh, L, L is having the 0 dimension here, so 2x plus y is equal to 0. So from here I can say since x is equal to 1, so y must be equal to minus 2, then only this can be 0 here, alright. Now I can say minus 2x minus y plus z, t and having the dimension as minus 2, so this must be equal to 2 here, minus 2 here. Now, minus 2, x is 1, so into 1, minus y, y is having minus 2, so this will minus minus will become plus here, and plus z is equal to minus 2. So, from here, this will minus 2, and this is plus 2, so from here I can say this, this will get cancelled out, and from here we will get z is equal to minus 2. So, now I got the values of x, y and z, so I can say the dimension of S is equal to e raised to power x, so the value of x is 1, so ok. Now v raised to power y, so y is having minus 2 and t, t raised to power z, so value of z is also minus 2, so that is this, so this will be the answer. So let us see which option is matching here, E1, V raised to power minus 2 and T raised to power minus 2, so that is option A is coming. Okay students, I hope you understood this question.